Hey, it's Matt from Practice Perfect. Welcome back to the Accelerated Learning Center. Today we're talking about how to enter treatment and service charges in Practice Perfect. Let's get started. Step 1. Entering treatment and service charges is one of the actions that you'll be performing most often. Whether you're seeing a patient for an assessment, a supervised exercise, or filling out a progress report, you'll need to enter a charge on that patient's client record. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to do that. One item to note, patient charges can also be entered directly from a daily clinical note, which is not the method described in this tutorial. Now, treatment and service charges are represented by this hand icon here. You can always tell when a treatment or service has been entered for a patient from the scheduler because this icon will be present in the top right hand corner of their appointment cell. When it comes to entering a treatment or service charge for the patient, select their appointment cell or highlight their name from any client screen and select new treatment from the function bar. Step 2. Upon clicking new treatment, the following panel will appear. Begin by ensuring that the treatment or service you're entering is tied to the correct incident. The service date will always default to today's date, but can be changed to suit your needs. If you're adding a charge from the scheduler, it will default to the date in the scheduler. Then select your fee item. This is the most important field when entering a new treatment or service charge. Clicking the little black arrow will reveal a full list of the CPT codes used by your clinic. Select the fee code relevant to this treatment or service entry. Note that this field will automatically be populated if you have entered a usual fee code in the Incidents tab of the client profile, or a fee code may have been entered while the appointment was being created, in which case it would appear here. Otherwise, it will automatically be populated by the last used fee code. Selecting a fee code will automatically fill in the description field. This cannot be changed unless you've specifically checked off can change description in the fee code itself. Performed by identifies the provider who performed the treatment or service. If you would like a different provider to appear on the invoice, make a selection in the billing provider field. Location code says where the treatment was performed. This field will generally default to what is required in your jurisdiction. It should only be changed in special circumstances as directed by our support team. Treatment location indicates where the treatment actually occurred, not just the code, but the actual school, outside facility, or patient's home. If the treatment or service was performed in the clinic, this can be left blank. The duration Visits, quantity, units, and amount dictate the cost of the treatment. Thus, the data you enter here will be reflected in the splitting section. The amounts here are based on the original amount entered in the default section of the fee code. However, they can easily be adjusted at the time of treatment entry. As a reminder, all CPT codes are based on units. The first fee code that you enter each day will have a visit count of 1, while subsequent fee codes entered for the same day will have a visit count of 0. This should happen automatically to assist you in your tracking of funding maximums. But if this is not the case, then please contact our support department for further assistance. If the provider is paid based on commission, but you want to exclude this specific charge from that calculation, then select no compensation. If this treatment or service charge must be accompanied by a progress note, check off this box here. This can also be established as a default for the fee code in the fee code detail view. Step 3. Moving on, the splitting section contains a chart with detailed information about the new charge. It's important to pay attention to this section as you need to be sure that your charges are allocated to the correct payer. The chart works as follows. The rows contain the patient and payers in question, i.e. the responsible parties. The amount is the total cost of the treatment or service before tax. It can manually be adjusted by double-clicking the cell or updating the amount here. 
Tax is automatically calculated based on your regional sales tax after being set up in Practice Perfect. And then we have the visits and the units columns. Again, these are important figures to watch when it comes to tracking funding maximums. The amount allocated to each payer is set up in the Billing Rules tab of the Client Profile. If this patient has multiple payers and you're experiencing difficulties allocating charges to the correct one, please contact our support department for assistance. Step 4. Following the splitting section, move on to statistics. The statistics section contains information about the patient's diagnosis. The data found here is pulled directly from the statistics tab of the patient's client record but you're able to add a new diagnosis on the spot by selecting New Incident Diagnosis, Injury, and Body Part Codes. The following panel will appear. To add a new diagnosis, press the green plus sign and select the specific diagnosis code in the leftmost column. The description is married to the diagnosis and will be filled out automatically. Certain ICD-10 codes require the completion of the seventh digit or the occurrence digit, which indicates more information about the situation behind the specific diagnosis code. If it is required, then a drop-down list will appear automatically. The body part column can be used to identify the body part affected by the injury, and in the injury column, select the specific injury sustained by the patient. These are not required for claim submission and are rarely used. Press OK to save this info to the client record, and use these checkboxes here to identify which diagnoses are relevant to these treatment or service entries. Attaching a diagnostic code to each service is mandatory for virtually all payers. Step 5. If you need to attach any modifiers to this treatment or service entry, you can do so using the modifier field. The most common modifiers are preloaded in Practice Perfect. In many cases, modifiers can be set up to be automatically inserted. Please contact our support department for more information on this feature. Step 6. Finally, when you're happy with the settings, press Add to record your new treatment or service entries and OK to save them. You're able to remove the charge from the treatment or service entry if you highlight it and click Remove before pressing OK. The only way to remove it afterwards is by going to the Activities by Service screen. You will always be able to see other treatments entered on the same day in the chart at the bottom of the panel. Furthermore, you can see a full list of treatment or services performed for this patient by selecting them and clicking Activities by Service Please note that there's no way to recover deleted treatment or service entries. You'll need to create a new one. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out some of our other accelerated learning videos at practiceperfectemr.com. Bye for now.